Alrighty guys, welcome back. Okay, so now we're a little bit familiar with jQuery. We know how to source stuff in and we know how it works and it makes JavaScript programming much easier. So for this video, let's do another example. I'm not going to do like an advanced uh, example of JavaScript, but I'm going to up it a notch. So stay with me. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and create our script tags right underneath our, J our jQuery sourced in code. Let's close this bad boy out. And what should we do? Let's uh, remember we got to write this pretty much every single time. Dot ready. Let, J let jQuery know it's going to be called. It's going to be sourced in. And what do we want to execute in here? Let's. Um, Let's use the word hide as our element. And the method, I want to use click. So JavaScript knows when we click on something, something's going to happen. We, we don't know what's going to happen yet, but when we click on it, something will happen. Function. And if we click on hide, let's... Let's hide our p text. How about that? So we used hide method in the last video, so we know that when we click on it, that our p text vanishes. It disappears. And let's close this out. Just like that. I'm going to create one more element. Or I'm going to create one more function. I'm going to call this the opposite of hide, which is show click let me click on this something should happen as well it's gonna show the element or bring it back if it's already been if it's already hidden and we'll just steal this copy that paste that in there back it up a little bit but we're not using hide, we're using show, just like that. So let's clean up our code a little bit. Something like that. All right. So let's go down here to our body. And what do we want to do? We want to create P text. And we'll say clicking hide. Or clicking the hide button will make paragraph text disappear. Let's see if I can spell disappear. Yep, okay. We'll close that out. And now we just need to create our form. We need to create our button. So let's go button. We could either do ID or class. I'll just do I'll do class. Oh, good point. So it's just like CSS. We need to put dots up here in between hide and in between show. If we were to do ID, we have to put pound signs right here. Doesn't matter what you prefer. I'll just go back to class. So put your dots in front of your hide right there, in front of your element. Oh, I'm going to send a quotation. There it is. Button class equals hide and we'll call this form or we'll call this button we'll just call it hide makes sense button we'll close that out and I'm gonna steal this and instead of hide we're gonna have show and I'll have show with an exclamation point. All right, so make sure you have this code. And let's save this. Let's open it up in a browser. Okay, here we go. Clicking hide button will make paragraph text disappear. Click on hide. All right, it worked. Click on show, and it shows back up. All right, so we just created a really cool JavaScript program with help of jQuery. And let's look back at our code, and you can rehash what we did. We created, we sourced in jQuery document ready. We know that this is business as usual. This pretty much goes
With jQuery, we have to write this. We created our custom function. We use the element hide as well as the element show, and we set it to our button right down here, hide and show. And we said we're going to deal with the p text just right here. P, p, p text, tag, closing p tag. All right, guys, so hopefully this made sense. In the next video, I'm not sure what we'll do, but we're going to learn a lot for free while people go to college and spend money on this stuff. All right, guys, good luck. See you in the next video.